All right, today what we're going to talk about is the new body style Polaris Ranger XP 1000 drive belt. Uh, if you hear a little hum in the background, I've been doing a lot of belt testing and working with the new deer clutch and so forth in this room today, having to open up the bay door and it is hot and I normally cut that off during video, but it's too hot. So I'm trying to get the temps back down, so I apologize. All right, so it, we've been selling this belt uh, for I, I would say nearly a year or right at a year. I, I think we've had the, this belt since we started. What, what we've been selling uh, people with a new body style Ranger is actually the turbo belt that we sell. They, they use the same. Actually the Ranger uses the 16 uh, Razor turbo belt and uh, our belt is, is neither 16 or 17 and newer dimension turbo belt. This is kind of like of a, a hybrid, if you will. But uh, I've had a new body style Ranger for a while, and believe it or not, uh, this week is the first time that I've had the clutch cover off of it. I've just been too busy. We're doing a duck build on it. Uh, the deer clutch come out, and it just can't uh, give me time to actually get into this. And so we wanted to make a video about the belt, talk a little bit about it, and then also a clutch alignment video. And here at the end of this video, you're going to see a little square here that you can click on to watch how to line up the clutch on a new box down Ranger 900. Oh, excuse me, 1000, XP 1000. All right, so the main thing that, that, that I would like to tell you about uh, is between these two belts is, is the thickness of them, the solid portion of the belt. Now I'm going to go to a still image here and I'll just talk my way through it and then pick back up on the other side. Okay, so you see this still image right here and if you look at this image, you will see that in between the cogs, you know, between the bottom of the top cog and the top of the bottom cog, the solid portion, well, our, our belt is much thicker. Now that dimension is real close to about a hundred thousandths of an inch. So if you'll see it right there, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, back up top here. All right, so what that means is, is you know, we offer a thick belt for the non-turbo vehicles and it's only 50 thousandths of an inch thicker and it grips like a son of a gun. And I can tell you after playing with this joker, it is crazy grippy, uh, works amazing. Uh, and so, and then it is literal complete overkill for this vehicle. So who, who wouldn't want that? Um, the width of the belt and FYI people, you don't measure width. And we're not gonna get into all that. You don't measure up here at the top. You actually have to measure from the inside and you go right up to the bottom of the cord. But we're roughly, if I recall right, about 20 thousandths of an inch wider there. What does all that mean for you? For those people that have jerky starts in their Ranger, uh, new box style Ranger, this is certainly gonna help because it's slightly wider, the clutch doesn't have to come as far, it's thicker, it has more grip surface, and then just the, the meat of it. it. I mean, it's just, like I said, you can look in this video and watch how flimsy this is compared to this. I mean, it's just, you know, this is a wet noodle and this is not. So this is just pure overkill, uh, which I like, and, and I just have not been able to show you guys this. Um, I, I guess I'm gonna keep it short because I just wanted to share this all with you. And also, to my knowledge, and my memory is awful, but if we, like I said, we've been selling this belt for a year and been using it. Uh, I do not think there's been a single phone call about a problem with this belt on a Ranger. No warranties, no problems, no nothing. And you know the moment that I freaking mention that, I'll have somebody call me with a problem. But, but today's date is, uh, Heck, I don't even know, about August 14th, 15th, 2019, we've been selling them 14 months. And uh, it's just been great. So, like I said, I just wanted to share with you guys that uh, I'll end it with this, as people always ask in times like this, well, do I gotta change anything on my clutch? Do I gotta change, uh, you know, weight, spring? No, no changes. As a matter of fact, the shift phase RPM and top speed RPM 
we're within 200 RPM of, of each other. This belt's got about 400 and something miles on it. This one has about four miles on it. But like any new belt, I don't care if you put another one of these on it, RPM normally go down until you get it broke in and then they're gonna be back within 100 RPM range. Top speed on my uh, Ranger is, believe it or not, is 64 miles an hour with windshields, roofs, stock tires, either belt, I hit the speed limit. So that's pretty much gonna be it. Um, like I said, I'm right after this video, I'm going into a clutch alignment and you'll be able to see a little square here, just click on it and get to you. Uh, and of course, as always, if you need me, shoot me an email, the phones are pretty tough to get to. Hit the subscribe button down here. There should be a little white deal you can click on to get to us. Now, I'll put a link in the description at the bottom. If you're looking at it on mobile, you'll have to scroll all the way past those other recommended videos to get to it. The point is there'll be a link that goes right directly to our new body style Ranger belt. And uh, that's going to be uh, 18 three-seaters, uh, 19 three, 19 crew. And to my knowledge, the 20 XP 1000 has not changed. There is a new vehicle called a Ranger 1000 in 20. It's, it's different, different belt, different clutch, uh, different engine. So the differentiation is going to be XP. So this is XP we're talking about. All right, guys, appreciate you. If you've got any questions, let me know.